Hey, what's up everybody, time for another comic book review and today we are going to review Original Sin number 4. If you haven't read this already, you need to go and buy this. This is awesome. I can't, it's totally amazing. For me, it's amazing. Awesomeness-tastic. Like, maybe it's a little bit hard to follow, like, if you're not, like, really paying attention, but that's just, you need to follow a story. You can, that's about it. So, we, I'll get, let's get right into it. So we start off the comic with uh, the Doctor Strange Punisher aspect of the story and they're in this other universe and they're talking about they don't know anything and basically Punisher doesn't trust anyone so he has a gun on Doctor Strange like like you're gonna be able to like shoot Doctor Strange and he's basically like it's like you know that won't work and I'll stop you and it's like this guy right here thought he couldn't be killed by a gun and look what happened and it's true this guy's going around just shooting folk that are like shouldn't be able to be killed by one gunshot and they're basically trying to converse and it's like Punisher's like oh so you don't trust anyone either you're a lot smarter than I thought you were and they it's basically really good dialogue I really like the dialogue between the two this this book is very smartly written and I'm really really enjoying it so we continue on going we get a quick panel of Bucky with with the eye and Nick Fury's severed head and he's going on to a moon base that is hidden on the blue part of the moon where the Watcher was, so that's kind of interesting. So he goes into this base, and then we flick over to Panther's team, who is still underneath the Earth, 200, 200 miles under the Earth, and they have found out a signal that is being bounced from space to the where they were, so they're being led there. So they go up, out, and find out quickly that Panther his brain is like super like Fort Knox. Emma tried to get into his brain because like, well, she wanted to know what was going on. And she's like, oh! So we know that Panther's brain is like locked up tight. So then we quickly flick over to Hulk and Wolverine, the pairing of the like odd couple pairing basically because they're not really ever getting along. They find Nick Fury's body. Wolverine's like, Bucky, I thought he was dead. I never liked him anyway. So they're trying to figure out who killed uh, Nick Fury as the Punisher and Doctor Strange just come out of nowhere and they like hold up Wolverine and the Hulk and Wolverine goes to attack. Doctor Strange does like this like whoosh, whoa, like I'll show you. Like he just wraps up Wolverine in this magical, this magical vortex thing right, right here just like grabs Wolverine in a magical aspect and locks him up and then Punisher shoots the Hulk and is like was that supposed to hurt and he's like no but this was and then he like shoots Hulk flying and it's like it's like hey strange I Hulk Hulk is pretty dumb but if he's not that dumb I can't do that again we need to get the hell out of here so they basically kidnap the orb because the orb is the linking through this all the orb is kind of weird because like the way he talks and it's like scatterbrained almost so they take the orb and we flick back to Panther's team and he and his team meet up with everyone else basically the Panther's team meets meets up with Bucky and Gamora the, and Doctor Strange all of them everyone except for Hulk and Wolverine at this point Gamora's really pissed off because Bucky left them and basically calls him a traitor and tries to fight. She tries to beat up Winter Soldier, and Winter Soldier's like, like, you need to trust me. Trust me. I I know what's going on. And Emma tries to stop them, but she uses her diamond power. And basically, how Gamora and Moon Knight got to this place was Rocket. Rocket helped them get there, and he's talking to Punisher, which is kind of funny because Rocket's. Bad mathing Punisher and his guns, the mask was in the army. And it was really it's really funny. A good comic really of the comic. And we find out Gamora goes to like hit Winter Soldier with the sword and he blocks with Nick Fury's head and it's like a robot head. It's an LMD and they're like, I just went <clears throat> Holy crap, it's an LMD. That was an interesting that was interesting. And what happened was all these secrets and lies are actually their secret. They're a secret team because 
old Nick Fury, like, we don't know how long Nick Fury's been in LMD. Because we open the door and there's, like, Nick Fury there, like, with this cane going on with a bunch of robot Nick Fury LMDs that are the most advanced LMDs they've ever come in contact with. And it's just like, <sighs> holy crap. So I would give this comic for sure a 9 out of 10. The art is pretty good. I've seen better art. And it was sometimes a little bit hard to follow, but other than that, I have no complaints. And I really enjoyed this comic. I actually have given this comic out to someone, so you can't get it, I'm sorry. But if there's any other comics you want me to review from my pull list, I will put my pull list somewhere in an annotation or in the description below. That's about it. I will see you next time. Peace out.